fake. Young goes deep middle. He's got Jerry Rice. Touchdown, 49ers. Right now. Congratulations, 49ers. Super Bowl pass. Rice has just said a Super Bowl record. The game is over. What is up guys and gals? It is your guy Rez and this is a very special segment video right here. As a matter of fact, this is the first ever segment that I'm going to introduce on my YouTube channel. This is called Welcome to the Bay Volume 1. So just to kind of give you guys insight, the Bay Area consists of many cities in Northern California, uh, cities such as Oakland. I'm sure you guys heard of that. That's where the Oakland A's and the Warriors where they used to play at Oracle Arena. You have San Francisco, which is probably one of the most famous cities in the Bay Area. San Francisco Giants, of course, you guys, I'm sure, heard of that as well. Um, and then San Jose, my hometown, you know, my city right here. I was born and raised, home of the Sharks. And then, you know, obviously, we have a lot of other minor league teams as well. And we also have the San Francisco 49ers. Who would not forget about my team right there? 49ers now play in Santa Clara, California, Levi Stadium, although they used to play at Candlestick Park, which was in San Francisco. But now, unfortunately, that stadium is no longer in function. All right, now that I got that information out of the way, and now that you guys have some insight about the Bay, I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite sports teams that are from the Bay Area, California. For those of you who don't know, uh, I am a huge Golden State Warriors fan. I have mentioned this many times in previous videos and my older jersey videos, um, but I want to share with you guys two Warriors jerseys that I'm about to unveil to you guys right now. All right, so I am sharing not one, but two of the same jersey. Same whoa, 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 whoa. All right, now hear me out. I know you guys are thinking, whoa, this guy is crazy getting two of the same jersey. Subtle differences with these two jerseys that I'm about to share with you guys. Um, but for those of you who are wondering who the player is, it is Latrell Sprewell. Where do I begin with Latrell Sprewell? Well, for starters, you know, I think because of the controversy with him and the whole PJ Carlismo incident, his career unfortunately is overshadowed with that one time incident. But if you look past that, I mean, this guy was pretty good in his time. I mean, he was a four time NBA All Star. He was an All NBA first team, NBA All Defensive team, and NBA All Rookie second team. So he definitely had some accomplishments, not to mention that he actually helped take his team to the NBA Finals against the San Antonio Spurs in 1999. Unfortunately, they fell short. And he also took the Minnesota Timberwolves when he played for that organization to the Western Conference Finals. Very energetic, very fast paced, very dominant player. Definitely had the traits to be an NBA champion. Unfortunately, like I said, the whole thing with him and Carlismo, that tends to be his whole career. Of course, you know him probably for his attitude on the court when he played for the Warriors along with the Timberwolves and also the Knicks and for those of you who are probably wondering yes this guy did choke his coach but I don't want to focus about that of course not to take anything away from Latrell Sprewell's career this guy was an amazing player in the NBA he did some amazing things anyways guys yeah just to kind of break down the jersey let me break down the first jersey for you guys the first jersey that I'm holding right here is of course the white run TMC style of Latrell Sprewell. This is actually the only Latrell Sprewell jersey, to my knowledge, um, authentic, at least that Mitchell and Ness made. This is the made in Korea version and this is the 96-97 season. This jersey actually has a gold Jerry West emblem, if you can see it right there on the upper shoulder. The neck tag, of course, is your typical Mitchell and Ness branding, and alongside with it, it says Made in Korea. So just a heads up, guys, for those of you who do not own any of the older styled Korea Mitchell and Ness jerseys, the Korea runs typically tend to run really, really long. So it's kind of like a tall tee, so you definitely want to go probably a size down or 
definitely don't size up for sure if you're gonna want to get that fitted look if you don't care about it though I mean you might want to just stick to getting your regular size these jerseys run really really long this jersey is very simple like I said you know this 90s style you know a lot of 90s jerseys had very simple styles but there were also jerseys that had a lot of crazy sublimated designs um, but I like that simplicity sometimes and this Warriors jersey really really stands out not to mention it's the white version I think the white version pops way more than the blue but for me it's like I prefer to wear the blue when I get a chance but on a hot summer day like today you definitely want to bust out the white version this is actually one of Mitchell and Ness's better runs in production to be honest with you the mesh is really nice it's got that nice heavy feel to it um, the trim you have the blue along with the white and that gold yellow and then of course you have the giant warriors plastered in the front of the jersey um, and it has double stitching with the yellow and the blue layers along with the number 15 on the front moving on the back of the jersey you do have Spreewell's name that is single stitch in that blue and then you have the double stitching of the yellow and the gold and the blue so whatever color you want to call it gold yellow to me it's the same moving inside of the jersey you have this small little tag right here I know a lot of people look at this to determine whether or not this jersey is authentic or not but this is what an authentic tag would look like I have no idea what that tag is to tell you the truth but a lot of people um, look for that when they're trying to legit check some of the older stuff called Mitchell and Ness. Okay, now moving on to the next jersey that I have, which is the other Spreewell. This jersey is, again, very similar to the 96-97. However, this jersey was a custom job. Yes, it looks amazing, I know. It is really nice, very, very soft mesh. In my honest opinion, I think that the quality on this jersey is far superior than the other one for the simple fact that I think it's more historically accurate if you want to put it in those terms compared to the Korea version that Mitchell and Ness made but they're both still pretty accurate but I feel like this one replicates the style and the way of the cut of the jersey that they actually wore. Um, the major differences from this custom to the Korea version Jerry West logo is not gold it's actually the traditional color of the NBA logo which is really nice and then also of course again you have double stitching of the jersey with the Warriors design along with that 15 on the front um, the trim is the same thing you know it's very similar cut to the Mitchell Ness Korea version but it is still pretty nice um, no neck tag obviously hence this is a custom and on the back you have Spreewell's name that is also uh, single stitch on along with the 15 on the back as well. Major differences between this custom and the Korea version that Mitchell and S made. Well, for starters, I noticed from what I saw is the name Spreewell. The Mitchell Ness version has got a little more of a curve, like a U, like a rainbow shape to it, while the Spreewell is a little more, um, it's more of a flat rainbow, so to speak. I, I don't really know how to explain that, but you can definitely tell that the names both names free wells are different on both jerseys also the mesh on the custom is a lot more softer than the mitchell ness version i feel like the mitchell ness one is a little more um s stiff if the if that's the word compared to this one this one is actually quite uh, soft and it's really really nice quality so this custom jersey right here is actually a lot more true to size than the mitchell ness one the mitchell ness korea version they're both size 48s but that size 48 Mitchell Ness fits really, really long. I feel like it's a 48 plus length um, as opposed to this one, which is more true to size, which I think I like this better. So for those of you who are wondering actually where I got this custom jersey from, because I'm sure you guys are probably curious, because I know Latrell Spreewell is a rare jersey, especially the Mitchell Ness one. Um, I'm part of a jersey community on Facebook. It's called Kings of Throwbacks. You should definitely check it out. If you guys are interested, I will put the link in the description below. And you can feel free to join if you have a Facebook. And also check out Jersey Kicks and Lid and Jersey Exchange as well. A lot of groups, great groups that I'm a part of. Um, there is a member in the group who is a very serious collector such as myself. And they take pride in making really accurate uh, quality of sports jerseys and whatnot. So definitely, you know, me being a Warriors fan, this is their specialty. Not specifically the Warriors, but NBA jerseys and basketball jerseys in general. So um, they really went above and beyond. You know, I paid money um, on this jersey and I was really crossing my fingers hoping the jersey would be really, really great quality. And my first response to getting this in hand is I was blown away, man. This honestly, I feel like blows out Mitchell and Ness's quality out the water. 
water for the simple reason that it's very accurate. You know, I've seen a lot of their work in the past and I've seen a lot of photos that they've done of other for other clients and whatnot and a lot of the jerseys that they have made are much more historically accurate than the ones that Mitchell Ness produced. Not to take anything away from Mitchell Ness, I still love Mitchell Ness, but this jersey I was actually quite shocked on how beautifully done and mastered the craftsmanship on this was. I mean, it really was phenomenal. This is definitely a great jersey to have. I do want to get more run TMC style jerseys in my jersey collection. You know, I definitely would love to get a Chris Webber in this style as well, and probably even like a Joe Smith, you know, possibly. But the list goes on. There was a lot of great players on there. You know, obviously Mullen, you had Timmy Hardaway, you had Run TMC, Richmond. Um, the list goes on, man, like I said. But, you know, definitely Spreewell is a classic jersey to have for this style right here. All right, guys, well, that is going to wrap up this very first segment of Welcome to the Bay. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have, thank you so much. Leave a like, comment, share the video as well. And, you know, I wanna know if you guys prefer this custom style jersey more or the Mitchell Ness 96, 97. Who do you think did it better? Be honest, I really don't know. I have both of best worlds. All right, guys, anyways, I am gonna head out of here. Please stay tuned for the next edition. I will see y'all very soon, all right? I am out.